Hi there, this is another video and this is Avocado Smash. It's by Ridley's Games and as it states, it's a fast paced snap game that's a smash hit. Well, you're certainly smashing your hands around and it is very much like snap. Uh, it's ages six plus as it states, uh, two plus players, takes about 10 minutes to play. Took a bit longer than 10 minutes. Um, I think it's around 25 minutes for us, but it was with myself and one other new player when I was playing with the group I was with. And it is interesting, the shape of this box. Um, and uh, I mean, I'll explain more about you know how I how I think it went and you know, the components in a moment, but I'll explain how it plays firstly. But it's oh it's interesting to how to open this thing as it's relatively quite smooth despite the avocado texture. Uh, but 70 cards and instructions, and it's the most fun I ever have with the avocado, with an avocado, apparently. And unlike avocados, you're unlikely to hurt yourself. Very cool uh, stuff around here. Move off to the side. Maybe I'll just put it back together again. So, rules. Here they are. It's uh, quite straightforward. It's just things how you want to play it, ripe and ready. So you're going to shuffle all the cards and do the following. So, here are the cards, and you're going to shuffle them up, and we're going to kind of go through and discover them as we do it. So, with one player, it's a bit tricky to kind of show you how it's going. But the first player flips a card. I tend to go this way rather than this way, so the person who's revealing doesn't get that unfair advantage. Quite thick textured cards, very thick in fact, which is good. Doppel is a similar game whereby you try to match stuff down. I've made a video for that. You can search that for Amass Games and Doppel otherwise known as Spot It in the United States. And uh, yeah, trying to pattern match or match based on what's on here. So in this instance, um, I'm playing six. So I say one because it's the first card that we're playing down. You go all the way up to 15 and background to one. When I play down a card and I'm saying one for the first card, if it is actually a one that is on the card, is the first person to do that does this, the second person does that or whatever it is. The last person to basically put the hand down is going to get that card. So we're going one, two, three, four. I do this. If I'm the last person to do that, depending on who's playing, everyone's playing, then I'll be taking all those cards and they'll go to the bottom of my own stack. So everyone's going to start off with um, cards initially, and uh, or maybe they can start off with no cards initially. And the aim of the game is basically to be the person who wins by having no cards available. So let's just keep going and I'll show you the other stuff that's going to be in there. So... It would be five, but now it's reset to one again. So one, two, three, four, five. So imagine they're coming in from someone else. Six, seven, change, back here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Smash, everyone needs to smash. The last person to put their hand in on top, they're gonna collect all those cards. So back down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, smash again, one, two, smash again, one, two. So that would be, of course, that'd be in someone else's hand, as would have been the other one. So then we're doing those two, so we would have got that, and now we've got one, two, three. So imagine they've got those stacks, because there's different people doing it. Three, I think that's, that's four, five, smash, one, two, three, four, five, six, change direction, seven, guacamole. In this case, it's the last person to say guacamole gets the card. But if you do that, you're getting the card. So you don't want to be slamming it this time, no smashing, just saying guacamole. The last person says guacamole, they're going to get the card. Now, I happen to be quite bad on guacamole saying it. Uh, there's one guy in particular who's really bad at the pairs. So one, so then guacamole would go, and you've got one, two, let's see if we get to beyond 15, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I think that was fine. One, two, oh, that would have taken it. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, one. So it'd be one. But actually, we aren't saying guacamole. So we kind of went through all the 15 there. And that's the game. So you can play until the last two are left. And then um, the way we played it yesterday is when it's down two people, just do paper, scissors, of stone, because there's a lot of cards potentially left to go through. I came mid-pack. There were five of us playing. 
Um, four it seems to be the ideal number, according to Board Game Geek, and I can kind of agree with that. Whilst you can play with tons of players, you're all now to be able to reach in, and with five, you've got someone off maybe off the end, so there's that to bear in mind. But as these people start accumul- um, accumulating these cards, so suddenly these smash cards are being redistributed, shall we say, and so they're starting to appear in a certain piles, and you maybe are aware that a smash is going to be in a certain pile, especially with only a couple of cards. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's something to be aware of, of where these cards are going to be. So that is Avocado Smash. I'll be doing the weighing in a moment. Um, I do like the game. I do like the way you have the counting as you are distracted by the counting and forgetting sometimes that well, ultimately, if it is the same a number like that, then it's going to be one, two, and if the two comes up. But here's another way that you can be caught out. If it's the same number twice, then you're going to also have to do the same thing. So if the numbers match, if the number matches the sequence that you've played a card down, so like the third card down is a three, then you go through that way. We know about guacamole, which is when the last person to state it um, also gets the cards without doing that. And the last person to smash also gets the cards. So let's just go through again, put these to the bottom. And we go one, two, three, four, change it, five, guacamole. That would have happened. And then got one, so that would have taken it two, nine, two. So that's one, two, three, taking it then. Smash, take it then. One, two, take it again. Wow. One, two, three, four, change direction, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, I guess it's still nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, one, two, three, and there it is, smash. So you need to pay attention to that entire game, obviously, high interaction. I kind of gave this game sort of a six ish, maybe even a seven out of ten, because it is quick, it is swift. I th- I've heard people saying that like, it really hurts their fingers, you know, when you claw into each other and you do something to get into locking, but it's nice, it's uh. Point, I guess you might almost say quite intimate when you get you know all these hands touching. Uh, watch out for rings and sharp fingernails. It was a person who didn't have the longest nails, but they had like side bits, which is quite painful. So um, yeah, it explains the rules very well. Um, yeah, if they went out of cloud, then you care the winner if they survive the next smash. So the way that works is you might have some cards, and then you finally um, got rid of your cards. But actually, when you run out of cards, uh, you still then need to win the next one. Otherwise, um, yeah, you haven't technically won. So you're still going to be in the zone. You've played out your last card. Everything keeps going around, and you still need to be the first to smash. It should be easier for you because you've got no card ready to draw. Of course, do you get a card ready to draw, or do you keep your hand ready just to smash it instead? So um, that is Avocado Smash. And you can play the game um, without the guacamole to keep it quieter. It is a very much a, a laugh aloud kind of game. And uh, yeah, it's it's quite a nice bright game for Ridley's games as well. Some of the Ridley's games, I don't know how much I really like them, to be honest. But this one in particular was a nice change of pace. Um, I've seen it uh, advertised in a number of places as well. And uh, so they have a nice kind of sort of say, display for them. And uh, yeah. All these cards do get dealt out as well, so you need to be aware of that. 70 cards, so you need to divide evenly by the number of players. And, um, yeah, if in terms of, you know, who starts, then, uh, yeah, it can be open as to maybe who last ate an avocado or something like that. Um, But these rules, it just states, you know, the youngest player does that, then you start moving clockwise. So quite an interesting party game. Uh, This game has been recorded um, in the Christmas run-up, mid-December. So if you're thinking of getting a game, to be honest, this is a pretty fun game. But again, you need to have, it's not a, a group party game with for many, many people because you all need to reach in. So unless you've got quite a small table, you want to do it standing. Yeah, it's, you're going to be a lot of bashing going on. So that is Avocado Smash. And that is a nice small game at 176 grams. Now, I mentioned earlier about the actual avocado box and the texture and the grip. I happened to be reaching into my bag earlier and grabbing this, and I, oh, it feels like an avocado in here. And I was very impressed, actually, that they have gone for this feel. Again, the cards as well, they have a nice feel to them too. 
Um, cards have been quite well used. Um, I want to say almost slightly greasy tinge oil to them. Uh, very thick cards. I don't know if the cards themselves, because of that kind of finish, have that kind of feel to them as well. But it, it doesn't seem to affect it much. It's not like other games whereby if you really do, say, soil a card, it's going to give away what it is. That could happen in this game. And there are games where I've, I've seen that happen, which I'm recording some other videos. But in a game like this, where it's pretty fast paced, it's uh, to recall the kind of card and what card it's going to go next to. It shouldn't matter too much. And to be honest, it could be more of a distraction. So there it is, Avocado Smash. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be recording some more videos and uploading them on pretty much a weekly basis. Uh, at the minute, it's averaging a bit less than that. So if you're keen to see more and you like what you've seen, you can always search Amass Games on YouTube. And also it's going to be all over Instagram. And finally, you can support and subscribe and you'll see the videos first. So thank you very much for watching and for the new comments and likes and uh, subscribers recently. And uh, hope you're enjoying this one too. Thank you very much. Goodbye.